I didn't know until I saw uh, Virgil's bio that uh, he's a pharmacist. Yeah. So he owned a pharmacy in Northwest Wisconsin. Right. And graduated from University of Wisconsin in 1951. Mm -hmm. I got that right? Right. We had a pharmacy with a seven stool fountain. Oh, and we need to serve, get that yeah, here. We don't have one of those. <laughs> Everything is different from 1951. Yeah. <laughs> Guys like Virgil, you know, that have uh, 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 come before some of us other yeah. pharmacists, you know, these, these guys kind of set, they paved the way for what, what we do to today. Extent, yeah. And the, the profession has just changed so much. Yeah. But it all, you know, it all <clears> started, <throat> you know, I mean, years back, you know, when, um, when pharmacists really started to become more and more of a critical part of healthcare, and, and we couldn't do, you know, it's different today than it was, you know, yeah. when you first graduated, of course, but we couldn't, yeah. we couldn't do well, what we do today. Well, the first two jobs I had, we had men working there and dispensing them that weren't, didn't even have a degree yeah. or uh, hardly, yeah. hardly any experience. Really. Yeah. I still think of that at night sometimes. I, I'll, I'll dream of filling prescriptions and they come in so fast that I can't handle them all. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. That hasn't so, changed. That still happens today. I wanted to thank you for coming to visit us. Oh, and good. thank you for your service. Good. I'll remember. And thank yeah, you for yeah. your service as a pharmacist and as a veteran. All right. Well, we're glad you are able to come see us and go on the trip. Thank you, Bob. Right. Yeah, thank you. Do I get a hug? You bet. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Have fun.